going on people this is Speederman here once again with another film review and this time I'm gonna be telling you guys about an interesting horror film it's called I'll take your dead very interesting title well so this is a Canadian horror film but I guess I can also call it a Canadian horror action thriller because it does have some thriller elements in this film so this film is about this dad and his daughter that live in this farmhouse and they live in the middle of nowhere. The dad's name is William, AKA the Candy Butcher. He's well known with the gangs, uh, with these uh, thugs because he his job is to uh, get rid of people that are already dead. You know, he cuts them up, he gets rid of them. It's a very dirty job. And uh, yeah, he has to. It's not something that he likes to do, but it's something that he has to do because, well, because he, he's in a financial straits. You know, he needs money. And yeah, he doesn't really like doing this kind of job. And his daughter, like, uh, knows everything about it. He, you know, she's there with him all the time. So one day, uh, these people dumped his body. This girl along with other people too but they dumped this girl named Jackie and you know he does his thing William does his thing he you know does his whole process of cutting the body up you know uh, disposing of it because you see his house is like a dumping ground for like the casualties of all these uh, gang related murders so uh, he starts up you know doing his usual routine and then he finds out that this girl named Jackie is actually still alive. Why? Well, the movie doesn't really explain that. I don't know, man. It's, she just comes alive, you know, out of nowhere. And he's like, okay, I wasn't expecting this. So he, he kind of like ties her up, ties her up to this bed and he has her hostage. And then a lot of other crazy shit happens, but I'm not really going to tell you the whole thing. But there is like supernatural elements to this too there's we have ghosts uh of people that have died there you know and the little girl gloria the daughter she has these visions and she keeps seeing these people you know zombies kind of remind me of this other film i just can't remember the title of this film but they kind of look similar to this other film i watched a long time ago but anyways so yeah so we have like uh the father and daughter you know, they're trying to get along too. They have like these, you know, issues. And then they have to deal with like, you know, this girl. And then uh, a lot of crazy shit happens. But the movie is very slow paced at times too. But I thought this whole idea was pretty creative. Uh, pretty original story, I thought. So yeah, man, I like this film. I mean, I enjoyed it. Of course, uh, there are some things I didn't enjoy. And some things were predictable, but all in all, um, oh yeah, and this film also reminded me of the film Us. You know how like the people in Us, how like the the dead black people look in that film. It kind of had some elements of that film in here, and I don't know if that was like deliberate. It was on purpose to do that, but it did remind me of Us, which is weird. Uh, so yeah, um, I don't know, man. This was very interesting, and this was better than probably like than a lot of these other modern horror movies that I've been watching. So I would highly recommend you guys check this film out. Uh, the actors of this film I've never seen before. I don't really recognize them, but they did a good job. Uh, of course, this is a low-budget film. You know, it's a low-budget indie film. But it's actually pretty good, I thought. Pretty clever performances. The little girl Gloria is pretty good. I mean, everyone did a good job. And the movie is very unpredictable at times, too. And I enjoyed it. I give this film a 8 out of 10. Um, I think it should be out on demand by now. Or you can stream it. And I would definitely, if you guys could find this on Blu-ray and DVD, or when it comes out on Blu-ray and DVD, definitely uh, buy it, man. It's definitely a must-buy. And... Yeah, I had a good time. I'm going to watch it again probably tonight. But yeah, it's called I'll Take Your Dead. Very clever story. Um, I enjoyed it. 
And yes, I highly recommend you guys check it out, all right? 100 subscribers. Peace.